Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. My name is Latia B. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I created my super cute, super bomb, updated YouTube channel art. To create my channel art, I utilize a website called Canva. Canva is very useful for content creators. You can do so many things with Canva, not only for YouTube, but also if you have a blog, you can use it to create images for your blog or Instagram to create a cohesive Instagram story template. Really, there's so many possibilities of things that you can do with Canva. In my case, I decided to use it to make my channel art because I didn't feel like going through Photoshop and having to figure all that stuff out. And Canva is very straightforward, very user-friendly, and they have a number of presets and templates that you can build upon. So let's go ahead and show you how I created mine. The first thing that I did obviously is go to canva.com. I'm already signed in so you guys can see all my stuff that I have saved on my account right now. But what you're gonna do is scroll down until you see YouTube channel art. Once you click on see all, you can see all of the templates that they have for YouTube channel art. So you can just scroll through and find one that you like. If you have a color scheme, you can go ahead and click color and it will sort the channel art templates by the color that you choose. You can also type in a color that you like into the search bar. I already have a color scheme that I utilize for my social media platforms. So I already knew that I was going to be switching up the colors anyway. So I really didn't care what color template I had. However, I did want something that had gold in it because you know, your girl is just so dazzling and gold is just that girl. Razzle dazzle with sparkles, glistens, all that good stuff. And I just love gold. So I decided to look for channel art that had gold in it. I didn't really like the colors that was going on in this channel art. However, I did like the gold brush stroke. So because Canva does allow you to change pretty much every aspect of the template, I decided to choose it anyway. At first I was going to go with like this nudie peach type color, but then I was like, nah, I think I want it to be white. And then I decided to change that brush stroke color to that neutral color. And then I lowered the opacity. I then got rid of these spots because I just was not filling them and then lowered the opacity of the gold brush stroke as well. Next comes changing of the text. And yes, that rhymed. Your girl should have been a rapper. <laughs> Maybe I was one in my former life. Who knows? <laughs> just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. But for real, I did change up the text. I decided to make my name in green because I am loving the color green right now. And then for the text that says natural hair, skincare, and lifestyle, I decided to make that a neutral color but darker than that brush stroke that I changed the opacity on earlier. I wanted to make sure that I included my channel name so I went ahead and added a heading and typed in so dazzling. I then went ahead and changed the font to League Spartan. I really like that one. I much preferred it over the default font that it had. And then I decided to add some spacing between the letters. So to do that you just change up the line. You just drag this bar however much to the right or the left that you want your letters to be far or close to each other. And then to make it wrap around the rest of the wording, I went ahead and added a curve. This was a little too much for me, so I lightened it up just by sliding the bar to the left. I then went ahead and changed the color of this text. And because there's only a certain amount of space that is visible on your YouTube channel, I went ahead and made the lettering small enough to fit in that space. I then found these little Polaroid picture looking frames off of Google. I just Googled like Polaroid film PNG because I wanted to make sure I had a transparent background. I downloaded that to my computer and then uploaded it to Canva. I got it into the position that I wanted and then using some images that I have already uploaded to Canva, I just made sure that they fit inside of the Polaroid frames and adjust it from there. You may have to crop or make the picture smaller if in the event you decide to use a frame like this, but either way, if you have a large image, you will likely have to make it smaller so that it will fit in the visible area for your YouTube channel art once you upload this image to your channel. I noticed that the bottom of the Y was conflicting with the last lining of the text. What I ended up doing is just adding a space between my name and my tagline by pressing enter, decreasing the font size, and it worked out perfectly. You then wanna go ahead and name your file so that it'll be easy to find, and then you can download it. 
Once you have your channel art downloaded, you can go ahead and go to your channel. So if you click on your icon that has your um, profile picture, click on that, go to your channel, and then it'll take you to, you know, obviously, y'all, y'all, if you're watching this video, then you know YouTube enough to know how to upload your channel art. You just go to your channel, click the little camera that's on there, and then it will take you to the page where you can upload your picture, your profile picture, your channel art, your branded information, all that stuff. It may take a little bit of playing around to make sure that it fits in the visible area. I know I had to play around with it a couple of times just to make sure it did fit. However, I, once I got it to how it needed to be, it turned out perfect and I absolutely love it. So that's pretty much it. Super quick and easy way to make your channel art in Canva. Again, you can use it not only to make your channel art, but you can also use it to make your YouTube thumbnails, Instagram stories, Instagram posts, anything you need really that's social media related, you can use Canva to do it. They do have a paid version that gives you access to more features, such as getting rid of the background on images. I no longer have premium just because I also have Photoshop and it didn't make sense for me to be paying for Photoshop and Canva, but sometimes I like using Canva when I just wanna do something quickly. So that's why I chose to use Canva in this case. But if you decide to use a paid version, I do think it's worth it, especially if you don't have like another photo editing software. But yeah, that is really all that there is to it. It is super easy to make and I hope this video was very easy for you to follow along with. If it wasn't and you want me to go more in depth on how to actually upload it to your YouTube channel or anything like that or how to create a YouTube thumbnail on Canva, just let me know down in the comment section and I will be sure to do that for you guys. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this helped you to create your YouTube channel art. Miriam, this video is for you, my friend. She was asking me about my channel art and I told her I would create this video so she can see a step-by-step -step process of how I created it. So Miriam, I hope that this was helpful. But you guys, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to stay dazzling.